Hi all, my name is Shamsi. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a age calculator in Windows application. Let me open my Visual Studio 2010. Now we need a Windows application for that go to file, then new, then project. Under Visual C sharp, select Windows then windows application select the folder location where you want to save the application then name the application as a calculator click ok you can download this project from the link given below in video description we can see a default windows form that comes with every new windows application let me change some of the properties of this windows form renaming the uh, form title to age calculator Now we need to give a new background image for this form. Changing the image layout to stretch. Now we need to add some of the controls like labels, date time picker and button can add controls from toolbox here in my case you can see toolbox here or you can launch toolbox from view then toolbox we need controls like label um, date time picker then one button we need two labels you can copy this and then paste and to the temp picker date of birth current day usually I add DTP as a prefix while naming date and picker controls UV and want to give some custom format for this data picker so it can be done here then change the format to custom that's it same for the Second data picker also. DTM DTP current day. btn calculate mm. 
now we need one more label to show the um, age so copy then paste your age equals zero name the control like lblh need to increase the font size for these controls let me arrange these controls okay now we need to add some codes i'm going to use the button click event of this calculate button then right click double click on the uh, button now I'm going to add a try catch to handle unexpected errors. First of all, we need to validate that always the date, current date will be greater than the date of birth. So we have to while check that inside this uh, button click event for the if dt p current date dot value. is less than dtp ub dot value <coughs> current date must be greater than the OB now we can calculate the age from these two date time picker values for that let me create one integer variable in age it can be calculated using this equation ddp current date dot years value sorry value dot years minus ddp dob dot value dot years year actually this will give our uh, final age in some cases sorry i forgot to add one semicolon here actually um if we add if we add uh, dob plus this much age it should be uh, yeah, it should be less than the current day but in some cases this won't be valid uh, some in some cases the dob plus age result will uh, exceed uh, current date which 
uh, some few months in that case we need to decrement the uh, age by one so we need to check that also if um, the ob dtm dtp dob dot value dot add you and use with age it is greater than dt m dot dtm current date dot value age be decremented by one now we have the final reset that is the age now we can show the age in this lbl age control like lbl age dot text is equal to your age age to, st to string Let me check the format, custom format that I have given for the uh, the time picker. There is a small mistake. Instead of cap small m, we need capital M. Now we can run the application. Mm, can change this data uh, big value to the to your um, date of birth. can see your age is here that's it guys you can download this project from the link given below in video description thanks for watching please be subscribed to my channel dot net mob for awesome videos like this please like and share the video for better reachability among c sharp developers thanks for watching have a nice day Bye.